Okay, so we've got that formatted. Now let's go ahead and handle the queries. Um, at the moment, we're just going to keep this uh, limited to editing settings. We might add the ability to add them later, um, but uh, at this point we'll keep it like this. So let's take a look at our queries and let's go ahead and copy this whole user's deal here. So from the first if submitted all the way down here to line 108. And we'll go into our settings case here. Paste. So we want to do is set submitted. And we want to go ahead and run this here on our label and our value. So label Value, value. Now we don't need any of this with the password, so we can get rid of all this right here. And let's see, we don't need the insert query, so we can get rid of this else. Uh, we can go ahead and keep that if there, just to make sure that an ID was sent. And we need to change the query to update settings. Set the D equal to post Oops. ID label is going to be label and value is going to be get rid of password and status where ID is equal to get ID which actually we don't want that we want to make sure ID is equal to post ID and that needs to be in quotes and let's hop over to settings here Again, we, uh, we have a little bit of a situation here. So our situation is that we're actually setting ID twice. So we could get rid of this since we're already loading this here. However, that's going to get us in trouble if for some reason we needed to actually change the ID. Because then when we run the query, it's going to look for an ID that doesn't exist yet. So we're going to still need this field here. We're just going to need to change it to something else. Let's go ahead and change the name to opened ID. We'll save that and then we need to make some changes in our query. So our where ID needs to be post opened ID. There we go. So we need to change our message to setting was and we can get rid of the verify clause here change this to setting could not be because and we don't need this at all should be good so let's go ahead and test that out so let's just change something, or actually let's make sure we load this first. Uh, let's change this to 3.0. Save. Aha, made a little mistake there. <laughs> let's go back to our settings.php and, uh, you know, reusing your code over and over is great. However, you need to make sure that you are aware of all the places you need to change things. Most importantly on this one, page equals settings, not users. There we go. Let me go ahead and clean this up down here. And this one too. And 
here. All right, so we'll go ahead and save this and let's try again. So we click on settings, change this to 3.0, click save. Setting was updated, loads here. Let's try and change it again to 2.0. There you go. Now we pretty much have everything uh, running in here except for the dashboard, which uh, We'll add to this a little bit later when we have some more things to put in here. Uh, this is dashboard's really good for statistics and things like that, which we don't really have much of right now.